This topic is on work breakdown structures. Work breakdown structures, or WBS, are a very powerful feature in Winesp. Um, our customers love using work breakdown structures, and they love doing this in conjunction, of course, with filters and editing, because they can tag items, which is essentially what a WBS, or work breakdown, is. They can tag items to whatever they want. For example, um, I've got the sample office building open here. And if I go to the sheet view, if I look at uh, custom work breakdown structure, we have one in WBS2, which was also referred to as work phases. I tagged all of the items. So for example, if I look at this fine grain slab and I click to the left here, and I look under WBS, you can see that I've tagged it under the work phase foundation. I've also tagged it under the location, which is work breakdown structure number one. Building, construction, canopy, so on. Um, and I made these up. You can see in here that we have 14 work breakdown structures. The first seven are fairly simple. They take a name only and no code. Numbers eight through 14 take a code and a name, which is very convenient. So if you've done something like uh, want to sort it by the code and display the name, you can easily do that with the second group of seven, numbers eight through 14. Eight through 14 are also hierarchical work breakdown structures. So what that means is that you can set up a hierarchy in the filter or in the WBS itself. So for example, I've renamed WBS8 uniformat. And I come into here, and I set it up so that it has a three-level hierarchy. And that's done from um, edit hierarchy of one, two, and three. So on. I won't get into the detail of that. But what that allows me to do is essentially have the use of three WBSs in one. So for example, if I take a look at my filters and I go to WBS8, details, you can see how it's broken out. So there's level one, level two, and level three. Very nice feature in here. And then you can right click and you can show the level you want. So if you want to show level three or level two, you can do that by coming into here. Now we say that we have 14 work breakdown structures, but in essence, we really have quite a few more because if you think about it, when you click add, we have a three level work breakdown structure. Our default name is CSI. We have another three level work breakdown structure. We have a four level work breakdown structure here. We also have some other items in or other tables in when asked that are available that are really used as work breakdown structures. We have user code one, user code two. Um, and those are the ones that I was talking about that can be used with a code and a name. In addition to that, the one I'm showing you here is that these have all lived in the estimate alone, um, but they can be stored in the database as well. So if you're using a work breakdown structure type over and over again, in that case, you would store it in a database it feeds the estimate and populates the estimate tables. But just to give you an idea of what some of the work breakdown structures do, um, the 04 division details is working off this master format, which is not technically a work breakdown structure in Winnest. It's not one of those 14, but it is as far as estimators are concerned. And they can filter and sort by all of those user conditions, uh, WBS is 1 through 7, WBS is 7 through 14, and all the database headings. And that pretty much um, is WBS in a nutshell.